All right, well, uh, happy Friday. Hope you all are doing well. I'm doing great. Just having a blast with my uh, 164 custom diecast hobby. Um, working a lot of different cars and um, just enjoying things, even though things don't always go as I would like. <laughs> um, I, uh, um, I'm enjoying it, right? You know, life is fun. Uh, you uh, uh, try not to make a big deal out of minor things. But um, I did want to talk a little bit about paint today. I also got decals from Mr. Pato in the mail yesterday. Exciting. Um, but let's start off talking about paint. So I, um, I typically paint with you know, your regular tester spray paint or the Rust-Oleum uh, spray paint. Those are, those are the ones that I, that I usually use. Uh, sometimes I use the Rust-Oleum High Performance Enamel uh, paint. Recently, I've um, I've started messing around with this paint. Let, let me turn this up just a little bit. Back it up just a little bit. Um, I started messing around with this paint and also this paint. So, you know, as with anything you know you should always start by reading the directions um, on the back and not just reading them but following them <laughs> I, I, um, I sometimes uh, have a problem following directions you know I you know if if you're a man like me um, or if you're just a man you recognize that you know we tend to be you know liking to chart our own course right we kinda like to go our own way do things the way that we want them done or the way that we think they should be done and we don't always follow the directions you know it's just the the spirit of rebellion or wildness that we have in us um, but anyways I, I see that in little microcosms of our um, of this hobby so this uh, chrome paint uh, rust-oleum chrome paint um, I don't know if I get too close here but it says it's a custom automotive paint and it applies that um, or creates a, a chrome effect without a base coat on smooth surfaces. Interesting. But as you go down here, um, you know, use between 50 and 90 degrees. Okay. Humidity is below 65. You know, it's generally the conditions in my basement. Um, sanding is not recommended. That's interesting. Thoroughly clean any surface, dirt, or contaminants, including finger smudges with soap and water, rinse and let dry. Priming. Use of a gloss primer. Gloss primer provides added corrosion protection, better adhesion, and hiding. It is especially recommended for porous surfaces and metal. Use of a matte primer will lessen chrome effect. Very interesting. I don't have gloss primers, but I have flat primers. And then I can apply uh, this clear sealer to it to give it a glossy effect. You know, kind of like what I have here. I'll, I'll show you real quick here. So this is this is the matte primer. Actually, two coats of it, and then this is the matte primer as well. But I put a coat of the clear sealer on it, and you can see how, you know, it's just it's it's a glossy finish uh, compared to uh, this, right? And I only have one coat of clear sealer on this. But what I need to do when I use this red chrome is I need to make sure I prime the car white with my flat white primer. I could buy some gloss, but, but the flat white's fine. And then I just put a coat of this clear sealer on it, and it gives it a glossy effect. I'm not sure how well that's coming up in the, on the video, if you can really see the difference between these two. Unfortunately, what happened was I didn't gloss it, and not only, I'm sorry, I didn't put a sealer on it, but I put two coats of, of primer on it, and I was ready to paint the, the chrome, and look what happened to it. I mean, it just, it just blistered all over the place. Um, so I'm going to have to re-dip this and start over again. And I was just putting a light coat on it, um, and it did it to that one. And it did it to this one as well. You can see this. 
yuck, right? Can't can't have that. So I need to use the the gloss. Um, I need to make the car gloss before I um, put my coat of the red chrome on it. I need to do that. So if I'm going to put two coats of the of the primer, I just need to make sure that I I I um, I put at least one. I'll probably put two coats of clear sealer on it before I put this this paint on it. So that's that's the red chrome learning as I go. Unfortunately, um, you know sometimes I I learn best the hard way, which you know is unfortunate. Um, I've got to do it wrong a few times before I actually do it right. So that's the Rust-Oleum Red Chrome, but this is the Krylon uh, Fluorescent. And again, this is a, a rather peculiar paint. I was just emailing with, um, with one of you guys and, and, uh, and, and talking about uh, these paints. But this very clearly says... I guess I can turn this up just a little bit more. For boldest fluorescent color, use a white base coat. And, uh, and so that's very important. It says it glows under ultraviolet black light. That's interesting. Um, this says best results when temperatures between 55 and 75. So it's a little bit different. Rust-Oleum red chrome said between 50 and 90. This is 55 to 75. Humidity is below 60%. Rust-Oleum said 65%. Um, but these are the conditions in my basement, no problem. Applying outside of this range may affect finish. Yes, okay. All right, so painting. Uh, I didn't read this, but, but the other, the, the Rust-Oleum can said, shake it until the ball rattles, and then shake it for another minute. This says shake until the inside ball rattles, then shake for an additional two minutes. Hmm, that's interesting. Two minutes is a long time to shake a stinking can of paint. I'll tell you that right now. But what that tells me is you really have to mix this stuff up because there may be some of the product settles and you really got to mix it well in order to get the best finish. Um, okay, you know, hold can 10 to 12 inches from surface. I think the other one said 10 to 16. Uh, spray and sweeping motion, side to side, slight overlap. Apply multiple thin coats to avoid runs and drips. Dries to the touch in 15 minutes or less. Handle for two hours. Apply multiple. I'm sorry. Apply additional coats within two hours, or after 48 hours. That is something that I um, I don't always follow, and sometimes it bites me. Sometimes it doesn't. If I go to apply a second coat, I need to do it within those two hours, or wait until it's fully cured after 48 hours. That's two days. That's it's a long time to wait between coats. So anyways, um, this is um, a paint that I've used for the Ryan Blaney, um, you know, cars of late. And I, I really like it, actually. But again, I have to make sure that the full surface of the car is white um, before I put this on. And I'm not sure if it's the paint or, or the same as the red chrome. But especially with this paint, you have to do a super, super light coat. I mean, super light coat. You cannot treat it like these paints. Uh, these paints, you can a, a lot of times, you know, put a pretty heavy coat on it, comparatively speaking, and it's fine. But this, you cannot do that. So um, anyways, that, that's enough time spent on that, on that kind of stuff. But, um, but anyways... I've got to, I've got to learn when I go from one car to another car that I've got to, I've got to adjust my process ever so slightly, uh, sometimes fairly significantly actually, when I'm painting different different paints because not, you know, paints are not all the same for sure. So that's what's going on there, and um, yeah, I'm gonna have to redip those and and uh, and mess around with that. So, um, let's get into now. The decals that I got from Mr. Pato came in the mail. I kind of joke with my daughter, right? Because she knows how much I, I, I just, I love these, you know, days when I get a package of, um, of decals in the mail, which is usually once or sometimes twice a month, but usually once a month, right? Um, 
and she she's the one when she gets home from school she's the one who's responsible one of her chores you know little little chore for her to go out and get the mail and bring it in make sure she doesn't drop anything all that kind of stuff so she kind of likes doing that but but I tell her when she gets the mail to check and if this is in there let me know and and I didn't actually go and look at my mail until after the race started last night and lo and behold uh, it was there and I'm like what are you doing why didn't you tell me this was there you know how much I look forward to this stuff and she just kind of smirked at me and yeah it's pretty funny so let's open this up and, um, and let's see what's here Always exciting time when you get decals in the mail from Mr. Pato. All right. First things first. Very carefully, you know, open these things up. So I got the Budweiser. I'm going to pull this down now a little bit. The Budweiser decals for the um, COTs for Mr. W.H. 2007. One down here, here, and here. So nice. I, I'm trying to think. I, I don't know if I've ever ordered Dale Earnhardt Jr. decals before. Um, I think I ordered uh, like a, a Deadpool fantasy uh, decal set, but Junior's not usually one that I get requests for. So to do one as a COT with the red chrome should be very interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. I didn't know Menards also sponsored way back then. Okay. Yep, that'll be neat. That'll be neat. These white decals on a a darker mid 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 colored car should be sh should be sweet. All right, what do we got here? Dent Wizard from Mr. Brad Keselowski and this was his paint scheme I think last year I think in 2019 yeah I've got it in here 2019 Dent Wizard came on and sponsored Blaney and then last year they um, they had uh, Brad driving the car so yeah that'll be pretty straightforward I'm always curious about yeah I was going to say, I'm always curious to see if this will stretch across the whole front end. But I can see here, you know, we've got the headlights again with a gap. You see that gap there? Oops, my knuckle can get out of the way. You see that gap around the headlights? So I'm going to have to pre-paint this dark blue behind the headlights so the white doesn't show up. I hate that. Oh, you know what? I just noticed I could use the spoiler. Oh, wait. I'll have to look and see what color the spoiler is. If the spoiler's black, then I can use this decal that Pato provides, and I can use that, cut that, and put it behind there so I can get a good match. If the actual spoiler is blue, yeah, I'm, I, I don't know. This is weird. I got a blue and then a black. I'll have to look at the car on the track. I'm hoping that this that the spoiler's black and I can just paint it black and then I can use this this blue decal here to cover behind the headlights and and that way it'll 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 look look better at the end. Okay. Cool. All right. And then I don't have this written up on my board right now, but I got a request for Ty Dillon his Halloween Geico car um, that he drove last year. So it's a full wrap car. Um, normally I would want, I'm, I'm just kind of walking through what, I, what I'm thinking to do, right? Normally I would want to paint the car white so that these white decals show up pretty nicely. I'll just have to see. Um, because when, when you do a full wrap, inevitably you have some edges around the windows, uh, maybe around the spoiler, that, you know, 
um, show through the actual paint that the vehicle is or the, the car is is painted so I'm thinking I might do black right because um, you know this is black this is a dark color here this is black here spoilers black yeah I may just paint it black and this is a pretty strong white decal so even if it goes over a black surface it's not going to be you know it's 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 a pretty thick um, it's not going to show through and so um, yeah I'll probably do a black one and then see how it turns out and go from there but black should work fine yeah I don't know what happened to Ty Dillon yesterday is he not driving in the in the Daytona 500 I I, I saw that um, I didn't see him on the starting lineup so he didn't qualify or what but yeah it's unfortunate for him um, so this is a Chase Briscoe 98 you know high point um, racing school Ford Performance Racing School decal set um, I, I was actually talking to Mr. WH last night and this is not the decal set that he wants uh, I ordered the wrong one so uh, fixing that so um, I'm not really sure what to do with these decals I mean I could obviously make the car but Chase did not drive this in the Cup Series uh, that's what this says here. Um, he actually drove this in the Xfinity series only, and so this is this. If I made this car, or I mean, I'm not going to throw these decals away, right? Um, I, I I spent 14 bucks on them, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make them. But uh, I'm not sure who's really going to be interested in a Chase Briscoe car. Now, um, it's possible that he drives this in the Cup series, but it would be the 14, right? Because he's driving the 14 now. So I'm not really sure what to do with this, but at the end of the day, uh, I'll probably make it, you know, and uh, do it white and, you know, see if anybody's interested in having something that's kind of um, kind of unique, even though it's not an actual replica of a car that was driven in the race or in a race. So, so yeah. All right. Now, here's the, um, the Ryan Blaney Dent Wizard, and it is actually, it looks like a little bit of a lighter blue. I'm just going to pull this up here from the Keselowski sheet. Just looking at it, it looks a little bit lighter. I mean, it's very close, obviously, but it looks a little bit lighter than that. But this was his uh, uh, one that he, he won Talladega in, in 2019, when he was in the playoffs. Uh, so you got this green. Spoiler's going to be green. It's going to be cool. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be good. And then we've got Alex Bowman, a Valvoline car that he drove last year uh, that Mr. WH would like. And so I'll be making this. It's a, I had the white background removed. Um, so I may need to... We'll see. We'll see. I may, I may want to kind of pre-paint some areas around this back. Um, I might do it. I might actually do it in black uh, because it's such a dark color and the spoilers black. But you can see this is um, this is all super dark. And um, yeah, in general, I do not use these decals. I mean, I did on that Trump truck that I did because it's a special spoiler color um, with the stars on the blue background, so I had to use it there. But generally. I would say 99.9% .9 of the time I do not use the decals for the spoiler. I paint it um, because it just doesn't look right. Um, it, it, it just doesn't look right or feel right to me uh, doing it. It's a little little bit of a pain. You got a front piece, a back piece, and then they got to come together. And I don't know. It's it, I don't know. I don't really like using it. So I just paint it. Alrighty, and you probably saw what's coming next. Zombie. Skittles Zombie. Wow. That's going to be so cool. That's going to be cool. So I had the gray background removed. And you can see here, so um, it looks good here. I just get a pointer here. I'll use this. Um, I see a little bit of gray that didn't get removed right there. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. But 
you can see a little bit of gray around here and and the reason is because he you know he uses his um, paint shop pro whatever um, tool and he clicks and he, he removes the gray but some of this is not fully gray right so it's got some speckles in there around some of these little areas so you can see a little bit of gray that's come up here uh, around here and you know here of course so you got these little tombstones here and then you got the gray now I'm doing a silver one I don't think it's gonna be a big deal I mean ideally I would like all the gray removed even the one that's kinda of, you know here but um, on the silver it's not it's not gonna be too big of a deal um, you notice I painted the, the the rims silver so that's kinda of cool just an idea I had to do that but um, yeah that's cool That'll be cool. Uh, it'll it'll look cool. Now I was hoping to do like a a black one as well, but the black is going to be a little odd because you have this gray around here, and it's not going to you know transition very nicely. Um, also, actually, his name is signature name would be a little harder to show up in a black car, but I don't know. I don't know. I'll try it. I'm trying obviously different colors, and um, yeah. That'll be cool. I'm really looking forward to doing this car. Um, yeah, that'll be awesome. That'll be awesome. All right, and then the last sheet, uh, Mr. IH, here's your NOS. Um, 2016 car. I didn't re remember all, uh, all this black on here. But, um, yeah, that's cool. I... I like the little can of NOS on the on the trunk lid. That's that's pretty funny. So a lot of orange, a lot of black here. This on these Xfinity cars, this is always a little bit of a pain. Um, working this because if you can see, it's kind of slanted down. So I have to trim this, trim this off here, and um, and and make sure that this stretches across here nicely. Uh, usually the window I need to cut it out a little bit further up here and then down um, but the nice thing is it's black so if I have any gaps anywhere I can always use um, black uh, paint to, to kind of touch it up but that'll be nice um, I don't again I don't think that's a perfect NOS blue you can see that there but uh, this will be um, this will be a fun car it's funny that you took the blue out of the Kroger the Kroger label label there. Um, it's kind of funny how that how that happens when he removes removes a color. Sometimes it comes out of the other sponsor's color as well. So, but yeah, fun times. Going to be exciting. Very excited to do this. Um, always a great day to get the decals in the mail. All right. So I've got about five minutes of time left. Um, I am just about done with this Trump 2020 gold car. Here, let me let me put this down a little bit more. I painted the rims gold, and I'm just going to leave this splitter gold, this gold. Um, yeah, and like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mount it in this little case. Um, I have to work up the label. I've got to do a label for that. Like that. So, if I'm able to get the label done today, then I, I think I've got three coats of sealer on this. Um, it's just a matter of getting the label done um, and getting this tied to the to the base and that should be a nice little package for a, a Corey LaJoy Trump supporter or maybe you're a, or maybe a Biden supporter who wants to buy it right and take it out back and like burn it or like you know, destroy it. 
<laughs> I've seen that before. <laughs> People like, you know, buy something of the person that they don't like. And then they might take like a, and, and you know, do a YouTube video of, you know, destroying it <laughs> with a sledgehammer or something like that. <laughs> um, you know, hey, I, I, you know, obviously, you know, I'm a, um, I'm a, a conservative guy. I work with the Marine Corps. I've said this before. I'm a gun owner. Um, you know, kind of a conservative uh, politically as well and pro-life kind of guy, um, you know, and uh, and so, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to make something like this. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm selling it to anybody. I don't really care your political affiliation. Um, that's, you know, that's up to you. You can do whatever you want with these cars that I buy. <laughs> but that might be kind of funny uh, if somebody did that course you know somebody buys a car for me it's theirs you know obviously I, I spent a lot of time working it but um, but yeah I don't, know. I don't know why I just thought of that but I just did um, and let's see what else do I got I am ready to decal a few things ready this is the sports clip car I'm gonna make um, this is another um, uh, Clint Boyer car I painted it with the high performance black, but it's kind of a matte finish, and so I put a couple coats of clear sealer on it before I put the decals on it, and uh, that way it's uh, it just turns out a little bit better. And so um, so that'll be something that I'll be working probably this weekend, um, and um, of course I'll be doing the uh, the NOS cars and the zombie silver one. Um, let's see. Lastly, as I get two minutes left, I want to I want to use this car. Uh, this was one I actually bought at Walmart. Uh, came in a blister pack, and so Mr. W H, this will be your um, your car uh, that I'm going to build uh, this Sylvania uh, Talladega Win uh, car, and um, it's already got the white rims, so that's nice because what I can do is just paint the um, uh, you know use my testers. And paint the uh, the yellow around there, and I'll do that. Um, but it's I've painted this underneath, and today I'll be drilling it out and dipping it and doing that. So that's that's for today. Um, I also have a couple um, cars here uh, that were requested. These are uh, Chevy. I'm sorry, Toyota Camry COTs. Um, and the uh, uh, the gentleman just wants them painted uh, and and shipped to him. Um, I'm going to put it back together, of course, but um, I'm going to paint uh, them both red, and I think one has a little bit of yellow design in it. So I'm going to I'm going to do that, and um, and so I'm going to uh, paint those today and get that done. Um, speaking of painting, my um, uh, my exhaust fan came in the mail, and so I've got that here. And that will be something that I'll be installing. Actually, I may do that this weekend, too. But before I install it, I have to run some electrical wires over to that area. So I've got a, a junction box in my basement, and so I've got to run some, uh, some wires over here and uh, power it up. So I'll be doing that here. But um, let me dip these cars back in that I had messed up and the solution and we'll start them over again. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate you. Have a great day. God bless. Talk to you later.